Welcome, everybody. We're talking to head coach for the Fighting Scots, Chad Porter, today about his upcoming season. Coach, you had a uh, quite a remarkable year last year. You were coach of the year in the conference. Um, does that make it for higher expectations for your team uh, after, after you finished above 500 for this year? You know, I think our expectations are always high. You know, that, that's what happens when you work hard and you put a lot into it, and our, our kids have done that. So, uh, you know, our expectations are – sky high and we want to take the next step and we felt we had a good year last year but not a great year and, and we want to have a great year now most people don't understand what a northern team goes through to get ready for a season you've been inside inside for what two or three weeks now getting prepared for the season you won't actually get on a field till you go down south is that make it harder that much harder for you to play a game before you've actually been outside well it certainly isn't you know i could i can you know I can have a lot of coach speak here and say it doesn't affect anything, but you know, of course, it 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 doesn't put a damper on things. But at the same time, you've got to program each of these guys to be mentally tough, and you can't let it affect you. You know, we got outside a little bit yesterday, and uh, we just have to be locked in and control the things that we can control. And I think that's what it boils down to. And you know, we get down there, we put our best best foot forward, no matter what. What is the strength of this year's team? I think that, uh, you know, our older players. I think that uh, last year we, we had a lot of younger players. I think that we're a year older. Uh, we have a, a pretty big senior group with nine, nine, uh, with nine seniors. And uh, the freshmen that we ran out there, especially on the mound, uh, are now in, and behind the plate and at shortstop and other positions. They're now sophomores and they've got a year under their belts. So I think experience is, uh, is, is probably – our biggest strength, continuity. Um, you know, I think our guys gel well. I think they like each other. I think they like to be around each other. So, those are things that I, that I I perceive and that I see as as the head coach. And you brought up an interesting point. I'm going to not off one of the questions here, but you have a strong middle part of the field right now with Mitch Lore, your pitching staff, and the middle infield and Percola in center field, right? So, does that help you to? set your lineup and to set your team up for the rest of the year? It does, and I, I think that I know that's how you build a team. You build a team, a strong team up the middle, and I, I think we have that. And I think we have, more importantly, we have some movable pieces. I think we have some guys that are versatile that can move around. I think we're deep position player-wise. I think that's one place where we are deep. Now, who has surprised you during the preseason so far that you thought may not be – the player they were during the trial, spring workouts. It's a good question. Kind of, kind of, kind of caught me off guard. I think I'm impressed with a lot of guys. You know the way they've worked. Uh, you probably the group as a whole. Um, I think you have your guys that are returners: Chaz Emery, Travis Percola. You know those guys: uh, Andrew Morales, Spencer Miller. You know they they bring it every day. That's just, and and there's some other guys I'm missing, but. Really impressed with Ryan Valentine on the mound. Uh, you know, pitched a lot for us as a freshman. Uh, Joe Warman gets better every day. Eric Glassman gets ever better every day. Uh, Mitch Lore coming off of injury gets better every day. Freshman Garth Charlton behind the plates improving every day. You know, Nick Villa's on. I, I think they're all improving. And I think you can, you can see that every day, even though these are more controlled drills inside in a controlled environment. They're getting better every day. Uh, GMAC is split into two divisions, north and south. That's cut down on your midweek games that won't count as much as they used to. Is that also affecting your preparation for the season? Not really. I, I think that uh, we have an extremely tough conference. It's going to be a tough league. Our division, the other division, the new guys, the old guys, I think this could be the biggest year of parity. It, it could be the strongest the conference has ever been, top to bottom. Um, but, no, I mean, we, we've got to take every game, every day, every time we go on the field, you know, kind of, uh, you know, one day at a time type of approach and just kind of tackle that. Because, it, you know, you, 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 if, you, if you don't put this thing in bite-sized pizzas, piece, not pizzas, pieces, <laughs> uh, it gets overwhelming. It gets overwhelming to, as a coach, as a player. So, it, it's, it, you know, you eat the elephant, you know, one bite at a time, you know, you know so to speak. So that's kind of what we're doing. And, Whoever we play that day is whoever we play. Now, this is just the uh, normal. What's your goals for this year? I, I know 
always getting to the tournament is a big goal, but other minor goals along the way? Get better every single day. You, you know, be a day better. I think if we can be a day better and reach our offensive and defensive uh, goals, which includes pitching every day, once again, take the entire season in bite-sized pizza pieces, not pizzas. <laughs> yes. I like pizza, yeah, mind, but bite-sized pieces. <laughs> um, and, tr you know, the old cliche of trusting the process, it's really just about getting better every single day. Of course, our goal is to win the GMAC. Of course, our goal is to get into NCAA postseason play. That's a given. Uh, everybody in the country's got that goal. The teams that are going to reach that goal are going to get better every single day. Uh, one rep, one pitch, you know, at one one at bat at a, at a time. And I think that we've really got to focus on that and uh, got to focus on continuing to develop young men the right way. And, can you know, we have to continue to keep the real reason why we do this in mind. And I think if we keep all those goals straight and we do the best we can every single day, I think the results will take care of themselves. We've been talking to head coach Chad Porter of the High Valley University of Scots. Thanks, coach. Good luck for the rest of the season. Talk to you on down the road. Thanks for having me.